What's happening out there, everybody? This is Little Top, and I got a special treat for you today. I contacted my man, Sergeant Major Mario Fields, out at Camp Pendleton at the Wounded Warrior Battalion. I wanted to pick his brain about some of the young men and women who might be considering serving in the military. Sergeant Major, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing magnificent, magnanimous, and everything above. I'm still five foot three, motivated, first on Little Top. How you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Well, first, uh, you're pretty famous. They, they say you're the most motivated star major in the Marine Corps. Is that true? No, I think it's because I'm far with three, man. I'm a toy soldier with a deep voice, so they just like seeing a little kid with his dad's uniform running around with a deep voice. That's all. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, tell me, <laughs> there's a lot of people who consider joining the service. If you were to give some advice to the young men and women today, what would you tell them if they're thinking about that? Yeah, what, what I would tell them is this. Hey, hey, stop thinking and just do it, you know. No one who's been successful in life sat there and thought, like, forever. They they think about something and they just do it. You know, and, 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 and don't expect anything. The, the, the service should expect everything from you. Don't come in with expectations, because that's when you get disappointed. So if you're going to join and serve our nation, if you're going to join and become a part of the team that protects our nation's most precious jewel called freedom, hey, Come in with zero expectations. Come in and say, you know what? The nation should expect everything out of me. I should not expect anything out of it. And you will have a blast to serve. Hey, first time, we'll stop like you and I combined for over 100,000 years. All right. Now, now, what if they're thinking, you know, I'm not in shape. I'm not ready to do that. Should they still go ahead and join? Hey, when I joined, I was 112 pounds, 5 foot 3, and I tell them to join the Marine Corps. Come on, man. All the commercials. All the videos, the Marines are six foot plus, you know, eight to nine videos. You know, you saw these Marines are tall, lean and mean. And I was like, you know what? It's not about the size. It's about the heart, man. It's about how much desire, how much dedication you got. And I did it. So if I can do it, it doesn't matter if you got a little chubby on you, a little chubby wubby. It doesn't matter if, you know, you were the nerd in school. It, it doesn't matter if you were even the most popular guy or gal. Hey, it's all about heart. It's all about determination. So that doesn't even matter. Just join if you're going to do it. All right. Now, when you're dealing with the recruiter, you know, what are your thoughts? There's a lot of jobs that are offered, right? Yeah. So, so you know, someone is going to join any branch of service. Hey, you know, if the recruiter, if there's something you want to do, if there's a job that you want to do, you, your heart is set on it, hey, make the recruiter give it to you. Make them, you know, make them offer, make him or her offer it to you. And if you can, if they can't get you into that job, you know, have them show you why. Have them tell you why, show it and show you in black and white, why you don't qualify for the job or why you can't get it. And have them offer you another job that's close to what you want to do while serving. Now, I know my soldiers always expected for them to be able to execute some personal initiative. It was always important to me. What are your thoughts on that for these young men and women? Yeah, as far as, you know, one thing I would say about as far as personal initiative, I, I, would, I would even go far as say it's opportunity. The, the service provides so many opportunities. There are there's, there's We would be on the phone for a song forever talking about all of the opportunities that is offered in the service. But you have to take personal initiative to be willing to find out, ask questions, and just stay the course. Stick to your guns and get as get you know get as much education as you can. But then that way you can maximize the opportunity if you decide to join. I know you're a busy man, Sergeant Major. One more thing. Now, I know if yeah. you join, there's a lot of education benefits. There's a lot of things that you will get out of it. What are your thoughts on that? Education is awesome. I mean, I got my, my associates in management. I'm about to finish my bachelor's in, the, in business administration. I mean, the GI Bill program is magnificent. Not everybody does, you know, more than four years. But, man, a young kid comes in 18 years old, you know, do four years, get out, decide to go to college. A GI Bill pay for the entire, you know, your entire four-year degree plus, you know, plus you get some uh, some stipends to go along with it to help you out. It's the best deal in my eyes in the galaxy. So if if if, if you know if you're not ready to go to college or you're financially strapped or you want to, you know, don't want to put a financial burden on the family, service is the way to go. You have great opportunities to fund your education first on those top. So major, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your service. And I would like to say once again, first of all, I know you're busy, brother. Thank you for giving me a call, man. Hey, I want you to low crawl back to your room. Make sure you stay low. Make sure your dad going Kevlar's on. Hey, stay motivated, my friend. <laughs> Roger that, Sergeant Major. I'm moving. We'll talk to you soon.
All right, take care. <laughs> All right, let's talk about. <laughs>